Um, I'm going to show another piece of kit what we got is a Fermo cooker, we'll call it that. Um, it comes in its bag, um, Fermo bag. Um, take it right out. But it's basically that there. It's got a Fermo, it's got a um, LED light and that if you want to keep food hotter then for longer not to cook with so the instructions say let's put that back in the handle um, so lift up it's got two pots a smaller pot here this is a 12 point 12 volt lead to help keep food hot for longer uh, in a pot there with a lid um, recipes and instructions and a mains power as well we won't be using that today and then we've got a inner pot for that. that. Now I used this the other day to prove some um, pizza dough which worked really well. Uh, put the pizza dough in here, put um, some boiling water in here, closed it up uh, and created a nice warm environment for the dough to fry. So the reason why we got one of these was to, um, the idea is we could prepare something in the morning and um, put it in this and this will continue to cook uh, up to six hours, uh, basically in its, in its little bag uh, for certain instructions. So. Uh, we could prepare something in the morning, hit the road, have this in the in the trailer, not hooked up to any power or anything, and um, the time we get to the campsite and set up, we'll have something hot ready to go. So um, I'm going to do a little casserole today and uh, to try it out, we'll cook some rice in it as well. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll get on with the casserole stuff and I'll explain how it, how it right. works. So we're going to do a big casserole for dinner time. Now, before we left, we did some prepping, so we cheated a little bit, but it just made uh, this whole process a little bit quicker and easier, so we can get out and play with the kids and go and read and relax. So we've got some chuck steak that I've just marinated in uh, Worcestershire sauce and diced up, uh, cryovac, and that's been in the freezer, but it, we defrosted it. Some chunky mushrooms ready cut up for the casserole. So some uh, diced onion and garlic. Uh, we're going to throw some potatoes into it, uh, some tin tomatoes, some herbs, so we've got thyme and rosemary, a little bit of gravy mix to help thicken it, um, some stock, and before Mrs. Wanderer drinks it all, uh, I'm going to steal some of her wine, red wine. Uh, we uh, do have some frozen veg, it's in the freezer, um, so we're going to add that a little bit later uh, to get things a uh, little bit more healthier. All right, so the pots, the inner pot and the um, the smaller pot, you, you just treat like normal pots. So it, no different uh, to that. Turn the gas on. Uh, now, a little bit of oil in there. Um, so the idea is once you have everything on sweated off to the point where you're going to leave it to simmer, uh, you bring it up to the boil, you s boil it or simmer it with the lid on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you transfer it to the uh, insulated outer shell and the, the bag. There you can close it up and leave it to, for up to, I think they said eight hours, but um, I've done it bit before at home and six hours the meat was all cooked and nice and tender. The only thing we ended up doing was thickening it up a little bit um, because it doesn't evaporate the liquid. They use uh, the heat in the liquid to cook it with. So whatever liquid you start off with is the liquid you're going to end up with. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll show that in hopefully about six hours time. All right, so I've got my oil hot. I'm gonna throw in my 
dauert lange. So. And we're gonna throw our mush mushrooms in straight away. Last one. This is why we're pre if you got the fridge space, this is why we pre do stuff. But I'm not having to sit there and chop away for hours getting something like this together. Um, you know, uh, um, and we're hoping that, you know, some uh, pre-made stuff that we take along with us, like the bolognese or curry or something like that, we could heat up in the morning and put it into this thermo cooker um, uh, and then have it hot by the time we, we it'll, it'll be hot by the time we get to camp. So that's that's the good thing about it as well. That, um, we can use it for our pre pre cooked meals as well. Daddy, uh, we made breakfast. Huh? We made breakfast. Make. We'll make some lunch. We'll have some lunch in in a little while. Bacon. Bacon. No, you're not making bacon. Making some dinner. Uh, casserole. Alright, so we've got some fine rosemary in there. Alright, I'm going to add one of the tins of tomatoes now. And I'm going to cook that out so it becomes like a paste. I guess you could add tomato paste at this point. And, um, not all the tomato will break up. See, so. And then I'll add the other tin a little bit later. After the meat. Rinse that out with a bit of stock. So we don't waste any of it. See this has thickened up a bit. The juice down, which is good. And I'll throw my beef in. If uh, you stay in one spot, uh, you can do this on your yeah, camp oven, you know, we've done that before. Uh, but we just this, this or, you know, if you have fire band days or if you're traveling, uh, although in saying that fire band days you can use heat beads uh, in some places. Um, this will, this, you could use one of these to uh, do a casserole or a curry or um, risotto or something like that. Uh, and it won't use, apart from the initial cooking stage, uh, it won't use any extra gas or fuel for, uh, for fire stuff. So um, it makes it a little bit efficient when you're away camping uh, in that way. Yeah, that you're not having to simmer it on a stove for six hours and run out all your gas. Uh, or you don't need your campfire um, going. Uh, of course, if you're base camping and you're not going anywhere for the day, uh, why not put it on your in your camp oven? You do it on the on the fire if you've got a fire going. Um, yeah, it's, it's the joys about it. So we're just trying trying this out as a another option for when we're travelling around the place. Grab some wine. Now you don't have to add wine, of course. Some here, make sure I leave some for Mrs. Wanderer. That would be very popular with me. And we just reduce that down a little bit again. Burn off some of the alcohol. So that's poured a bit, reduced some of the alcohol. So now, uh, potatoes. Tin, another tin of tomatoes. Okay. Just right tomato. Done. Alright, another little tip. You cut the top off, keep it. Use it as a I keep the other stuff and the rest is a litre of stock a little bit of a stir now there is five of us 
so you think, might think there's a lot, but I said there, there's five of us, so um, yeah, be enough, more than enough for us. So I'll bring that to the boil now. Um, once it starts boiling, I add some of the gravy mix to it uh, to reduce it, uh, it'll help thicken it. And then I'll simmer it for about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes before I put it in the pot. So put the lid on that and bring it up to a boil and I'll show you a bit later. This is just starting to boil now. So what I'll do is um, just help thicken it. I'll put some of this gravy mix in. Pull those tomatoes up. So this has been simmering for 20 minutes or so. Uh, just give it a occasional stir, especially if you've um, like put the gravy mix in it to thicken it up. Otherwise, it will burn on the bum. Um, it's thickened up a little bit, which is good. Now, put the lid on this. So. Got the thermal cooker here. Open the lid up. And we just pop this in. Like that. Close the lid. Boom. And that's it. Six hours time we'll we'll test it and see how it goes. Um, you don't need to leave it in the sun uh, or anything silly like that. Um, keep it in your kitchen or in the back of your trailer or caravan or car or whatever you're, you're planning to store it in and um, it's all sealed sealed in tight so even if it does get knocked over it shouldn't spill anywhere all right so we've got two four cups of water because I'm cooking two cups of rice so I've been doing two parts to one uh, two yeah two parts to one so Got that up to boil. Pre-measured my rice before we came. So I'll just tip all that in. Right. Give it a stir. So I put a little bit of salt in this. Just bring it up to boil again. Yes, it's casserole. So, in here we got our casserole, take the lid off, there we go, I think it's about two hours to cook, to go through, we can't do this, looking pretty good so far. So what I'm going to do, put that in carefully, put that in there. lid and we'll leave that for a couple of hours. It's been about five or six hours. I've had the rice and cooking in there. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, rice I guess has been in there for two hours. Whoop. Alright we've had a bit of spillage. Uh, Alright, so rice is definitely cooked. Right. That's a casserole. So. Yeah, potatoes cooked. And meat's all cooked. Falling apart. So, yep. Looking good. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out the places we visited for yourself, there's more information in the description below. Hit the trailer icon to subscribe, and here are some more of our camping adventures.